and we're back with part three <coughs> now um while i've been gone off um and loading part one and two up what i've done now is i've painted the house i haven't painted it all inside and to be quite honest um, it would have been easier before putting the roof on to have painted the inside walls. But I've only painted what you're going to see, basically. That's the sides inside uh, and the back panel. Um, and then to get this effect, this kind of wood, woody effect, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. I've painted all of it green first. Um, I've got the back to show you and the front again to do uh the front to do again now what i'm going to do and just before i do that i forgot to tell you you need supports for this the roof uh, not the roof the canopies and all you do is you cut little triangles obviously the bigger the panel you need the uh, bigger the triangle okay and just paint them and just that's all you need okay <clears throat> i forgot about those i have also glued on these ready it's easy. I'm trying to find the easiest way to show you. So glue on your little back. Um, that's your shelf, your front shelf, like that. And just glue this on, your support. Okay, so I've done those and I've repainted them up just so that they look neat. Because in the one, I know in the video last night that I showed, they weren't neat, but I was just putting it together to see if it worked. Uh, this is a lot better. Now, like I say, to get this um, kind of colour, you can do this... Whatever colour you're mixing, this is the sort of thing you can do. You dip your brush into the white acrylic first, just like that. And then into your colour, whatever colour you're doing. Dip your brush in, okay? You might, oh, sold you, I'd spill it. I haven't, it didn't come out, but I knocked it over. And then what you do is, you just do it in lines like that. And as the two colours, keep going back to your main colour to blend in. And as your colours blend... You don't need too many strokes, I have to tell you that. Okay, in the white, in the colour. And you get that two-tone effect. I mean, obviously, if you just do your strokes like that. Okay. You can keep it like that or you can go over it. I will generally just go, do your edges first, basically. That's I teach my grandchildren to do that, because then you can just blend in. And you see where that's lighter at the bottom now? All I do, go in with the main colour and darken it up again. Like that. And then you just get that wooded effect. And then you need long strokes to cover the whole amount. And if you can do it like that. Like that. And that's that's all there is to it. Okay. Don't forget when you're doing these is to do underneath. Like under here. You only need your main colour for that. I haven't done the roof because we don't need to do the roof. We're going to crackle that in a minute. I'm just going to give the um, front another coat. In with the white, in with the colour, right underneath, white, colour, and that, it's just as simple as that, but look at the effect you're getting. A little bit of glue there. Just keep adding white or green, whichever it is you need. But to start it with, I would go with the white and then the green. Or whatever colour you're doing in your birdhouse or whatever project you're doing. And you've seen me, I have tutorials on how to make the wood effect. It's, it's just the same. Um, so if you want to run along and have a look at those, I show it in more detail, to be honest. And you make the proper wood and I've done a bird cage. It's, it was a um, 2D one uh, to show you how to do that. Now here, just run it across there and then back up. Just so all your strokes are going the same way. I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy. Okay. Just hold that. Oops. And I'm just going to go over that one again. 
just because I'm not quite happy with that little bit. Like that, that's fine. Oops. It just gives it like an aged look. It's quite nice. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. That's fine for me. Um, and then all I'm going to do just with the green is to go back over that. Because that is going to be crackled. That's um, Sorry, that's uh, this bottom section here. Just go over it. It's going to be crackled, so it doesn't matter. Make sure you do all your edges. Okay, so we've got that. Now I think that looks pretty good. So now let me wash my brush because I'm going to need the same brush for doing the crackle medium. Now I've just noticed here this has just come undone. So all we do is. Because of the, um, I had the heat gun on it before and forgot about it. Let it. Don't worry about any glue going on the roof. Do it that way and knock that off. Just peel it off because you can cover that with a crackle medium. It doesn't matter at all. Like that. So I'm just peel that off. Doesn't matter if it it's just the excess. I'm not fussed, we can hide it with something anyway. Um so right, now we're gonna do the crackle medium. <coughs> so where did I put my here we are. And I've put the supports on there as well. So oh wow, well, I'll remember. Let me just go over that. I just want it to be neat underneath. All I'm doing is just painting over where I've got the crackle medium. Paint the supports again, that'd be fine. Okay, so that's ready. When it's uh, all ready to go on, that can then be glued on. Wash my brush again. So I hope you can see the roof. I will try my best to... Um... Right, so I need to screw up the start of this. I'm running out! <laughs> so all you do, again, is just to paint that on. Paint it on. Okay. You need quite a bit on, to be honest. Just roughly paint it on first. Get on the layer that you want. And then it... Yeah, I put my thumb in that. Yuck. Ah! <laughs> so I'm just painting it on one way, like that. Just to get it on what I want. Might need to open my other tub. That means I'm going to run out. With this stuff, I'm trying to have one in all the time. A spare. So I'll just go over those. Come on, scrape the barrel, woman. Scrape the barrel. <laughs> I'll scrape in the barrel. And I want that on pretty thick because I do want a nice effect on that roof. Don't worry about any of the edges, you can go over them and tidy them up later. Like that, and don't waste it, pop it back in your pot. I know I'm a tight ass. I don't care. Oh, I keep... So I'm not letting anything dry properly. And fill in your gaps there, that'll help that as well. And any of the paint work, you can go back over, it doesn't, doesn't matter at all. 
look, let's just fill that in with some of this. Like that. Bootyful! <laughs> As my dad would say, bootyful! I'll help seal that. Right, so we're doing that. Doesn't matter about the colour because we're going to colour this up. Can I get any more out? <laughs> Gosh, I can look at that round sides. <laughs> Heaps of it. Don't waste any of it. Plaster it on. Look, this is underneath here, under the lip here. Don't realise how much there is. Whoa. Not wasting that lot. And brush that in. Look at it. All under the ridge. Don't you never think of doing that? Lords. And if you think I'm having fun, I am. Don't worry about that. And this will also help as a sealant. I want it pretty thick in some places because I want a nice crackle effect on this. Last night I just skimmed past it, you know, skimmed over it, I mean. Um, but I do want a nice crackle on this. Like I say, any of the paintwork we're touching it, if you haven't dried it off like me, don't worry about it. Go over it. Right. Probably going to get a better crackle on the back than I am the front. So I'm going to thicken this up a little bit more. Don't get any more out. I don't want to waste it. And what I like about this type of crackle medium, I'm just going to open the other one, is because the thicker you put it on in certain places, the better the look. It really is. So I can, I want a thick piece there. A thick crackle. Let's have some there. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Here. like that okay and then just brush it across that's it that's all I'm going to do and I shall have to order another one so I've always got a spare one in because I use it a lot okie dokie like I say you can smooth any edges off don't worry about any of that and the other thing was because I used the same width, and uh, I didn't have a, I didn't use a bigger chipboard. You know, you could go over it so it hangs over here. Would look even better. But I'm just using the chipboard that I had in the book. Okay, right here we go. Now let's see what damage we can do. <laughs> what are you kidding? See it come to life. There it goes. See the thick area is what I did. That's crackling first. Beautiful. You could do the whole bird cage in it. I wouldn't, because I think you spoil it. You need to give something character. And the way to do that 
is uh, just to have a touch of something here, there and everywhere. Don't overdo it. My granddaughter's right when she says less is more. More is rubbish. <laughs> I still laugh at that. I think she says, that was Billy May. She once said that on film. Less is more, more is rubbish. <laughs> They're at a dance competition this weekend, yesterday and today, so hopefully they've done well, but they do the best. They keep coming home with trophies, so it's not too bad. Though they're not always first or anything like that. They do lots of dancing, uh, modern, rock, all sorts. Jiving. They're really, really good as well. I watched them the other week when I went to pick them up. They were on the last dance and I was amazed. How in time they were and... Yeah, fantastic to watch them. Do need to dry this out because we're going to be doing uh, some colouring on it in a minute. getting some bubbles on it, I even like that. That'll do. Whoop, look, see the bubble? just adds character to it. Let's turn it round, do the back. I think this one will crackle better. Because we've got more on it. There it goes. Hope you're seeing this, because it's brilliant the way it's doing it. It's fabulous. Love it. Fantastic, love it. And I like it that it's not all the same, you've got the smooth bit here in between. So the thicker it is, the better the crackle, but then you don't want it all the same. It adds character to it. Test that, yeah, that's fine. Now, all I'm going to do is, because I have a little bit of paint to tot up a bit. And just a touch, it's where I've gone over there. I just want to touch that up. That's all I want to do. Just there, it doesn't matter, that's fine. Brush that in. Yeah, and a little touch there as well. Touch it up there and there, gives a bit more character to it. Now what I'm going to do, take my blending tool and I need two colours. <coughs> and those two are peel paint and um, walnut stain. And I'm first going to go around with the walnut stain, put some on my pad 
and we'll do the front first because that was drying quicker and just do the edges like that look at that immediately you've got that aged look immediately so we're just gonna make sure we brush it in like that a little bit in a little bit there darken the edges in some places Like that. Fantastic. Love it. And then we'll do the back. Like that. See the top of the roof. Blend that in. And you know, it's great. That's all you need to do. And then I'm just going to use the same one. I know I shouldn't, but I haven't got time to change. Is uh, just to go in with the green. Going with the green here and there. Just so you're actually covering. Okay, look at that. Fabulous. Love it. Like that. And I'm still going to go over it again using the brown. And then all I'm going to do is just to do, just to age the whole house up, is just to go over the edges with the walnut stain. I've pressed that in. That's my fault. I'll get that out again. Oops. Like that. Just to age it up a little bit. <clears throat> Any imperfections, go over with the brown. It doesn't matter. Oops. You go in as far as you can. <laughs> Oops, I see I've pulled that off. Now, what I need to do, it's just the end. So quickly put that back on. That was my fault because I pressed it. Never mind about that. That'll just peel off. That's better. <coughs> what were I doing? The brown. And then what I'm going to do is just to hold that together and blend that in. Just to age it. That's all I'm doing is aging it really. Like that. And I've just got the front to do. Oops. Butterfly fingers today, Fee. Come on. Um, and if you just do it with your finger, if you can't get um, into the nooks and crannies. Dab your finger in it, just to colour in some of it underneath where you can't get your tool. Just run that across and run that up like that. And that's going to hold that like that. Make sure I get the right one on. that one away and that one um, and I'll show you what we've got so far okay so that's what we've got so far and uh, now what I'm going to do is just to crackle paste this oh sorry we're going to need them colours again aren't we never mind A 
little bit extra there and everywhere. Do. Okie dokie, wash that brush, dry that off, crackle it. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't done it too thick, just in a couple of places. Just see if the other one's uploaded because I need to get the next one up. 11 minutes to go on part two. I'll do for that and then with what ink I've got on my brush I'm just gonna ink that up a little bit just to give it that age look like that because it's very quite quick to uh, dry okay so now we've got that and I'm absolutely chuffed to death with that so I hope you can see it like that fabulous love it right so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach all the bits okay and of course that i'm going to oh, should i sit it there no i'll sit it there so basically all it is is just gluing it on and i'm only gluing it from the center when i it's doubled Like that. And we take the little ones. Ah, now, oh, yes. Mm, I didn't ink them up. Let me just ink these up a bit. That's all they need. Inking up a little bit. Now. Never thought of that, did I, silly old? Just ink the edges up. My tool's not... Oh, that's it. Get in there. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And what we're going to do is pop these on. Okay. Sorry if my head was in the way, sorry. Hopefully. Whoa, that's not right. Not right at all. Come on, glue gun. Ooh. 